Okay, we have one really old mains power drill here. Um, estimating its age, oh gosh, 30 years old I think. Um, at least 25 anyway, because I brought this from the UK and I came to Australia in 2000. So yeah, um, the only thing it's had done since is uh, obviously refitting a, a plug for Australia. Uh, as you saw on the intro, it's burping and farting from the back end here. Um, I suspect there are some brushes in the back. Either the brushes are worn out or we just have some dirt build up. Anyway, let's see if we can't take it apart and find out what the problem is. So none of your Torx bits or security bits or anything, this is just Bog standard Phillips. Okay. One is slightly longer than the other two, so keep those separate. Yeah, and I suspected we have some carbon brushes in here. Um, I have to say, you know, after 30 years of work, um, and it's had a few hot suppers as this drill. I mean, I'm not a trader, I don't use it every day, of course, but um, it seems to be fairly well built. Um, anyway. Let's not uh, blather on, let's just see what we can find out in the best way. Maybe to remove most of this stuff. Getting held up on these wires. Okay, that's coming out quite nicely. Not seeing much spring. Ah, uh, yeah. I suspect that's um, just a little bit too short. Anyway, it'll be a miracle if I can find anything online, um, but anyway, it's worth a try. Let's get that one put on one side. I'll just take the other one out, which I assume is similarly uh, short, diminished in length, a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky to take out, but. Uh, and I certainly don't know want that strip screw staying in there. Yeah, now these uh, crimps also um, a little bit loose, loosey goosey. So not ideal. So I've got one screw out there. Where is the second one? And I think this is just causing a bit of lack of. There we go. You probably can't see it on camera now, but. Um, a second screw for this lower carbon brush. Just pop that out. So now I've lost two screws in there now. That's one out. You're going to have to get out in, uh, in a minute after I've removed the carbon brush. And for sure these carbon brush is just a little bit tricky. Not really made for easy replacement
Seems to be a bit more um, protruding out of the end on that one. Oh, and indeed, uh, that one is uh, significantly longer. So, um, the one on top has worn away much quicker than the one on the bottom. Anyway, time to pause the video, I think, and go online and see if I can find something uh, suitable. I could probably, if I can get it um, on the right size, even if it's not in this casing or anything, I can probably fashion something to suit. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Also, I think it might benefit um, from getting in with an air duster and probably some uh, contact cleaner to get right onto the commu commutator in there, clean it all out. But anyway, it should be repairable, but um, it really depends on the spare parts. Okay, I've um, got these new carbon brushes all the way from China. So we don't get the uh, the brass outer piece to these. I'm going to be just reasonably careful with these. But they'll be soft, I guess, is the uh, the graphite that uh, they use. So if we take one that's already got the calm brush still in, let me just pull that out. I don't think there's any particular way, is it? Well, one of two ways rather. Let's pop that in there. Give it a bit of a. Yeah, okay, we've got some good spring happening there. Move the old one away. Pop that one back in there. And the carbon brush is a little bit of a clean up with uh, IPA. Okay. So actually after double checking I'd put, um, the, there's a slightly longer screw, it's only longer by about um, 3 or 4 millimetres, uh, but I put that down here rather than up here, so that's why that case didn't come together quite as easily. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty good. What do you reckon? Good for another 30 years? See you now.